Hey everybody, what is up? It's the Tominator, and today I wanted to review the 2011 Arnold Classic. So uh, this is a show that Branch Warren won, and he was going uh, doing battle with these other three guys. Um, Dennis Wolf was in second, I believe Evan Centapani there on the left was third, and Victor Martinez in fourth. And uh, so I just kind of wanted to go back and, and review this one. I'm going to probably go through and review uh, 2012, 2013, all the way up to 2016. Um, in preparation, I've already reviewed 2017, um, in preparation for the upcoming 2018 Arnold Classic. So we're kind of going to go through this year by year. So let's take a look. We'll go pose for pose. They miss a couple of poses in this video clip, but uh, don't worry, I've got pictures. So we're going to go back over the missed poses and we'll even review uh, each of the eight mandatories at the end after this video's clip is concluded. So one thing I got to mention right off the bat is, um, yeah, I can definitely see the case for Branch winning even though his physique is pretty ugly, and we'll see that in certain poses, he just looks like shit. But he does have the best sheer mass, and uh, his conditioning, and his coloring was very good. And what do I mean by that? I mean, look how much uh, darker he looks compared to uh, Dennis Wolf and Evan Centipani. Um, so these are all pasty white boys, right? And, um, you know, Branch is pretty pasty himself. If you watch him training in the gym, he's white as hell. But he got his tanning so much better than Wolf and especially Centipani. And what that does for him is it enables the conditioning to show through better. So we're going to see more details on his body. And, um, you know, maybe he was just better conditioned, but not to this extent, I don't think. And uh, Chris Aceto, Dave Palumbo, one of those guys from Irox Muscle actually made that point. They brought it to my attention because I probably wouldn't have bothered uh, mentioning or noticing that even until they, they said it because they, they did a review of this contest. Um, but anyway, so I kind of stole that point from them. I'm not going to take credit for it, but it was a good point. Uh, Victor Martinez over there has a obvious genetic advantage in that department, just being naturally darker skinned, so he doesn't have to worry about it as much. Um... But anyway, in the front double bicep, so um, yeah, I mean, Branch looks surprisingly decent. What I don't like about him, um, and this just is in general point, is the wide blocky waist and his lack of V-taper. I feel like that really detracts from his physique. Uh, yes, his legs are the best in the show for sure, but they kind of overwhelm him. And his in certain shots, uh, not so much in this one because his arms do look pretty decent here. But in certain shots, he's just way too lower body dominant, and it really throws off his balance. So Evan Centipani there on the left, I've never liked him in this pose. He's got that kind of sunken chest look where his chest just looks puny, and it looks like it's kind of shrinking into his armpits almost. It's very weird looking. Um, his arms, which are normally a strong point for him, don't look that good here. You don't see much separation. They don't even look that massive compared to the other guys. So I would probably have him in last, but mainly for the chest. It just looks like garbage here in this position. Um, Branch, I don't think I would give it to him, though, overall. Uh, I definitely prefer the look of guys like Wolf and Victor in, in particular in this pose. Um, they just have more pleasing-looking physiques, I would say. And yes, that's subjective. Um, Wolf is definitely flawed. You can notice his high lats. They don't even look symmetrical. Uh, of course, the angle is not right on center, so that's going to throw off these guys' uh, appearance of symmetry, especially when we get around to doing the lat spreads. You'll notice that no one looks symmetrical, and I think that's mainly due to the camera angle. Um, but this is still the best footage I was able to find. So I would have probably Victor Martinez, just based on this uh, angle right here. I'd probably give that one to Victor with Wolf in second, then Branch. Um, but of course it's, it's misleading trying to judge from an off angle like this with not, uh, admittedly the best quality footage. And when we go take a look at the pictures, I'm probably going to change my mind depending on uh, what we see there. So keep that in mind. Um, in the front lat spread, can't even judge Evan Synthapani fairly. He's not facing head on at all. So it's really tough to tell what he really looks like. Um, I definitely like Dennis Wolf the most here, though. He's got the best X-frame easily, okay? And for those of you who don't know what an X-frame is, it's simply the combination of the V-taper created by those flaring lats, the wide shoulders, the narrow waist, that's the V-taper, um, in combination with the quad sweep. So Dennis Wolf has really good quad sweep. He's got the V-taper. He's got the best X-frame on stage easily. 
Uh, one of the best X frames in the history of the sport, I would say, honestly. And Victor Martinez, he has a good V, v taper, but no quad sweep, so his, he doesn't have much of an X frame to speak of. Branch Warren has the quad sweep, but not much of a V taper. So if you could combine him with Victor, you might have one hell of a bodybuilder in this pose. But, uh, you know, Branch has tremendous thickness and muscularity, right? You can see that through his chest and shoulders, definitely through the wheels. Um, but just, he's, I don't know, man. It just, it, there's no taper here, man. He doesn't look good in the lat spread. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd say this is Dennis Wolf's pose, followed by probably Victor, maybe Evan. Uh, it's hard to tell with Evan, as I mentioned. You can notice a little stream of sweat there in Wolf's belly, showing that he's he's not fully dried out. Now they turn around here. Uh, so we're going to miss the side chest, the side tricep, and I believe the ab and thigh, but we'll catch the others. So... All right, let's get into the back double, guys. So here you can see what I'm talking about with the coloring. You can notice how Evan Santapani looks completely washed out. When we take a look at the photo of this pose, you'll notice a, he, looks, he looks a lot better. So I think it was just not taken in such bright light or something. I don't know, because um, you see a lot more detail than you're seeing here. Um, so I think... I gotta say, man, I hate Branch Warren in the back poses. I think he looks like garbage. Um, yes, he's got the thickness, he's got the muscle, but he has no shape. He has terrible proportions. I mean, his lower body's just completely overwhelming his upper body. His back looks like crap. Um, yes, he's got thick muscle there and stuff, but no taper, as I was mentioning before. Um, I just think his aesthetics are, are like non-existent, man. And do you really sh deserve to be winning shows when you look like garbage? Like, what is the point in bodybuilding if at the end of the day, you don't even have a body that anybody would aspire to look like? Like, who would rather look like Branch Warren than Dennis Wolf or Victor Martinez? Like, if you could pick any one of these guys on stage to emulate, I, I would not pick Branch. And I don't think you, most of you guys would either. So what's the point if all you got, like, if you got... Mass and conditioning, it's just not enough, man. You got to have more than that. You got to have some symmetry. You got to have some balance. You got to have some aesthetics. <laughs> like, these judges just get way too obsessed with mass and conditioning. And I've made this point before, but this is a prime example of that, uh, that kind of bias that they have for those two criteria and just ignoring everything else. Um, so, yeah, I, I would personally go with Wolf, even though he has no lower back. We all know that. Um, but still, I think he looks good. You know, the upper half of his back, very good. He's got the taper. He's got the tiny waist. The arms and delts look huge. Yes, the lower body is nothing special, but I would prefer that over Branch's dominating lower body. Like, this should be more about the back and the biceps and the arms and stuff and the shoulders. It shouldn't be about the legs. Um, so, Victor Martinez I like, too. I just feel like Branch has no balance. Yes, his legs are the best in the show, hands down, but big deal, man. And he looks even worse in the lat spread. Uh, it's, it's just so ugly. It's just a blob of muscle. I don't get it, you know? I can totally understand why the judges uh, gave him the win because, like I just mentioned, they're obsessed with mass and conditioning, and Branch had the best of those two criteria. But at the end of the day, I would not give him the uh, the title because he just doesn't look good whatsoever especially from the back poses like uh, it, it's just an eyesore almost so I didn't bother um, breaking that one down too much because uh, the angle was off as you saw and I think we get a better look at it in the pictures now they, they go straight to the most muscular and in the most muscular, Branch actually looks decent in this video, better than he does in the pictures. Um, again, Wolf's just kind of getting washed out. We're not seeing the uh, the level of separation that he probably actually had, because you can see the lights just glaring off these guys. Um, even Victor is getting a little washed out. Um, Branch is the only one who really nailed his color, so that probably definitely helped him secure the victory here. Um, but yeah, so that's the video portion, and oh, they're still going. Oh, that's a nice one by Victor right there. I like that old school behind the back. Pretty cool looking. You just don't see it very much anymore. Um, 
I can't, it's hard to judge that one. I, I would probably give it to Branch just based on this video footage right here, but when we get into the picture, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. It might be a different story. Okay guys, so uh, we're gonna take a look at some photos now, some stills, and uh, first up, we have the front relax, and I have to say, even though I was just heavily criticizing Branch Warren, uh, in general, he looks better in these photos than he did in that video footage, and this one right here is a prime example. I mean, he looks really good in the front relax pose. And I would probably say he's the standout here in the lineup. Um, you're noticing just kind of more roundness. Wolf looks a little flat here. He looks uh, less impressive to me here than he did in the video, and I think that's going to bode true for most, uh, most of the poses. Victor looks pretty good, though. Um, Evan, you see what I mean? You can notice a little bit more detail now through his, through his legs and stuff, and we'll definitely catch that detail shining through in the back when they turn around. Um, a lot more here in, in these pictures than in that video footage. So let's move on. Front double bicep. I'm kind of just going to gloss over some of these that we've already seen. Um, but I do notice, uh, even though this is kind of a more or less head-on angle, uh, Wolf has some pretty noticeable asymmetry here in the lats. So I think that hurts him a little bit. It definitely uh, is not good for his lines and his overall shape. And um, yeah, I can definitely see Branch winning this one now. Um, so it's amazing how the same show, you know, just changing camera angles, uh, difference between, uh, you know, slight differences in lighting based on the angle or the zoom um, makes a huge difference. So this is kind of more like lower where the judges would be looking from. And I can totally see maybe now why they gave it to Branch because he looks the best, I'd say, in this lineup um, from this angle. In the lat spread, again, Branch looks better here than he did in the video, but I'm still not impressed. I still think he, his lats are very lackluster in this pose, and I would still give it to Wolf quite quite handily. Um, I think he's he's well, he's just kind of dwarfing these guys, man. Like literally, I mean, he's he's a couple inches taller than all of them, and he just looks a lot bigger, like pretty much everywhere. So I would give this one to Wolf easily. Um, and then after that, I don't know, who cares? Uh, let's move on. <laughs> Side chest. Again, the same thing. Holy shit, man. Wolf is completely outmassing these fools over here, man. He's just like, Branch looks like a child compared to him. Look at the size difference in the delts, especially. Even the arms as well. I mean, Wolf just looks like, it looks like the scaling's off almost. Just how much bigger he looks than Branch. But Branch does have that thickness. And the lower body's very close. I would actually probably give the lower half of his pose to Branch. It's, it's a little sharper than Wolf is, but Wolf has crazy hamstrings uh, hang down here. I mean, Branch has pretty good hands, too. You can't complain about that, but Wolf's just kind of droop. It's really cool. Um, so in the latter years of his career, uh, well, actually, I guess this wasn't even the latter half years of his career, but uh, from around this point and onwards, he's just had some of the craziest hamstrings in the game, and uh, I would give him the side chest here. Victor looks good. Branch looks good. Evan Santapani, Okay. In the back double bicep, um, now I think Branch looks better. Um, so maybe it's the angle again. Maybe it's just a lot. I don't know, man. It's it's so baffling how how different these guys can look, uh, depending on what source you're viewing it from. But here, you notice the staggering difference in quality now in Evan Santopani's back double bicep. This is is really good now. Whereas before, he looked thoroughly uh, mediocre. Now we're seeing a lot more detail um, and thickness through the back. Uh, he just looks a lot more defined now. Uh, Dennis Wolf, we're seeing uh, uh, that complete lack of lower half of his back, and that that's what really hurts him. It, it prevents him from outright winning this pose, because otherwise he he would. He'd just run away with it, because he's got um, way more mass and width than the rest of these guys, and uh, the upper half of his back is, is really good, but his traps just kind of end right there. It's, it's very weird. Victor Martinez also has... Uh, like a really high Christmas tree, and I feel like it detracts from his from his overall back development. Uh, it just kind of eats into the area where his traps should be. Uh, his lower traps are they, they're just very short, just like Wolf's, and I feel like that hurts both these guys in the back double. They still look good though. Um, I don't know who I'd give this to overall now. It's it's a lot closer than it was, um, even between first and fourth. Like Evans at the Pawnee's closed the gap uh, tremendously. So tough one. Um, I still think Branch looks pretty ugly in it, though, and for that reason, I'd probably lean towards Wolf. In the rear lat spread, uh, yeah, Wolf's width is just overwhelming. Uh, it's crazy looking. Again, it looks a little asymmetrical to me, though. I think Victor's is probably the, the cleanest, the nicest overall, 
Um, he's probably the most reminiscent of someone like Phil Heath in this pose. And uh, I think he, he looks the most polished, the most refined. Uh, Branch, again, just looks like an ugly blob of muscle. I really can't stand him in the rear lat spread. In the side tricep, okay, um, unfortunate sh maybe shot for Evan Sithapani because I don't think his, his gut was really hanging out that much the entire time. I think it was probably just snapped at a, at a bad moment for him, um, but it is hurting him and it's, I'm going to ding him for that here because you should never let the gut hang out uh, no matter what. I mean, you got to always keep it together. I know these guys don't do that. It's unrealistic maybe in this day and age of bodybuilding, but whatever. I I'm going to judge it like how it should be judged and we can't be rewarding distended stomachs. So Victor Martinez looks good. I see he's keeping it in, in check here, flexing the abs, keeping it tight. Uh, his triceps have always been a little high for my liking, um, but it does give it a, a unique and pronounced horseshoe effect, right? Um, so he looks decent. I think Branch looks pretty pretty decent as well for what he's got to work with because he does have pretty shitty arms. Um, but he's, he's making it work. But again, Wolf is just dwarfing everybody. So I, I like Wolf the most here. I think he's kind of... Um, just overshadowing everyone. In the ab and thigh, not a fair shot for Branch Warren. I have to point out his abs were sharper than this. Um, I've seen other pictures and video footage that I, I didn't show you here, but just trust me, they were sharper than this. He's definitely not flexing 100% right now. He's probably just taking a breath or something. Um, so when, when they are fully flexed, I'd probably give him the ab and thigh. I think he looked really good there for a couple of years in the ab and thigh. For whatever reason, uh, his V taper became more pronounced in this shot than it did in the friggin' lat spreads. Um, so I don't know. Riddle me that. I don't know how that works, but that seems to be the case with Branch. His waist doesn't look quite as blocky. Like even Victor's looks wider and more blocky here than, than Branch's to me. Um, I don't like Evan Synthapani very much in this shot. Just kind of messy through the abs. Uh, quads aren't that nicely separated either. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd probably give it to Branch overall. I think Wolf looks good. Um, but I just feel a branch looks a little bit better and, uh, his, the balance from in his physique looks a little bit better in this pose than some of the others in the most muscular. See, this is, um, yeah, this is the reverse effect. I think branch looks worse here in the photos than he did in the video. So it's just funny, man, how that can work. Um, so Dennis Wolf looks a little better. We're not, we're seeing a little bit more detail now and definition separation that we it wasn't coming through in that, in those bright lights in the video. Um, so I think his crab is very impressive here. Uh, I also really like Evan Synthapani's version though as well. I mean, he's showing a lot of roundness through the delts, through the arms. Um, just everything is, is very well developed on the guy right here in this shot. And I would still probably give it to Wolf just for the, for the mass effect. <laughs> uh, not talking about the video game, but you get what I'm saying here. And uh, yeah, I give Wolf the most muscular. So that's the recap, guys. Overall, I, I can totally understand why the judges gave it to Branch, but I do not agree with their decision whatsoever. I think that as good as Branch looked this year, this was a pretty good version of his physique, but his physique is pretty damn ugly, and in my opinion, is not worthy of a champion, especially not the Arnold Classic. I mean, keep in mind, this is a guy who's protesting, Arnold Schwarzenegger, protesting um, you know, strongly against these bottle-shaped bodies, as he calls them, and Branch is the epitome of that man he's he doesn't have a bubble gut maybe but he's just blocky he's just a blob of muscle man and it's not shapely no aesthetics and he's kind of the antithesis of what arnold uh stood for in the sport of bodybuilding man he's he's totally gone away from the art form of bodybuilding and for that reason i don't think he deserves to be an arnold classic champion i think he was very good for him but he's just too shitty in certain poses like from the back so i don't think that he should have uh, walked away with the title. So that's just my two cents. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, if you agree. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, just hate on Branch here and start a hate train going, because, I mean, hell, this is six years ago. Who cares, right? But um, it's it's kind of late to be protesting him now. But um, I, I'm just, you know, I'm giving my honest opinion, guys. So I, uh, I often agree with the judges, but I don't always agree. And this is a case where I can understand where they're coming from, but I, I think that they, they got it wrong at the end of the day. So... That's all for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody, and feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more. Until next time, I'm the Tominator, signing off, and I'll be back.